Hello everyone and welcome back to another Carlisle United Career Mode Safe. This is episode number 6. So, coming back from the disappointing exit to Gillingham in the EFL Trophy, in today's episode we have 4 games to play. Uh, first of all, it'll be Morecambe, but before that we take a quick look at the league table where we are second right behind MK Dons due to our inconsistent form in the league and hopefully we can string a few wins in the next few games to stay at the top of the league for some time. Anyway, in this game, I am giving Oscar Mason his full home debut. Um, he's been decent. He really has been decent whenever he's been called upon, so I think he deserves a start along with him. The Loney Keeper Fryer will also get his start after some time. We do start the game strong. We have Stefan Skugal hitting it home from long range right into the bottom right corner. What a goal. A really good layoff and a really really good finish from Stefan Skugal. And let me tell you, that's not his last involvement in terms of goals today's game and right after that in the 21st minute this time around we have Oscar Mason the debutant getting his first assist through another Stefan Skugel's long-range effort this time it plants into the left side of the net it just fires past the goalkeeper nothing the goalkeeper can do about that one and the manager is loving it. Of course he's loving it after the 1-0 defeat to Gillingham. It was very hurtful that 1-0 defeat. And after that 1-0 defeat, it is of course right for us to start the next game brightly and strongly. And this time around we have Nathan Thomas sending in a beautiful cross for once again, Stefan Skugal getting his head to a Nathan Thomas cross for his hat-trick just before the 33rd minute. What a performance from Skugal. What a performance from the team. It is what we need. It's the character. It's the attitude that we need after a disappointing loss. That's how we should be picking ourselves up after every disappointing result that will be coming our way in this season and the seasons after. And once again, like the graphics says earlier, Skugal has three shots, three on target and three goals to his name for today's game. And in the second half, I thought here uh, Cullen is getting his fourth goal. However, the ball does hit the goalkeeper's outstretching arms and onto the post and into the back of the net. So I think if the goalkeeper doesn't get his fingertips onto the ball, then the ball is going off target. That That's the only way it makes sense for it to be an own goal. So doesn't matter. Either way we take the goal, we are 4-0 up very early into the second half. And this right here, this another comical mistake from myself and I know it shouldn't be happening but for some reason my first touch is such a disgrace and it gives Morecambe a goal in the end. It was a really well taken goal but it shouldn't have been a goal in the first place. I know Cullen will be fuming because we have lost our clean sheet but in response to that Oscar Mason Oscar Mason gets his first goal for Carlisle United on his debut and what a performance from Oscar today really really balance out the midfield for us today uh, even though uh, every now and then he does misplace a pass or two and just before the game finished in the 86th minute, Cullen does get his goal uh, this time around. No one is going to be claiming uh, the goal off him. It's a clean strike right into the left corner of the net. Game finishes at 6-1. We take our revenge from that 1-0 loss against Gillingham in the previous round. Man of the match, 
Stefan Skugal for his hat trick, but also a quick shout out for Oscar Mason for a wonderful performance on his debut. And that win takes us right to the top of the league. At first place, uh, level on points with MK Dons. And if this form continues, long may it continue, we will stay at the top of the league for quite some time. So for this game against Macclesfield Town, I will be going back to our preferred starting 11 as we will be looking to maintain our winning form. Uh, I know it's just one win in the last game and we've been abysmal in terms of form but hopefully we get a win and very early on we get a really really good chance to go 1-0 up in the first 10 minutes and Cullen should really be taking his chance there as Macclesfield come out from the back, play, they, they play out from the back and they play out really well and for some reason our captain's first touch is absolutely diabolical. His first touch allows uh, Macclesfield striker to get a first time finish right into the top corner and I was furious. I was absolutely fuming at that and I gotta be honest I'm not seeing much good things coming from our captain in the left back position. He's got good stamina but besides that uh, he doesn't really offer much in terms of defense or in terms of first touch like he did earlier. Uh, however I do come out guns blazing right after kickoff as I thought that this can't be happening again and that doesn't go in and so doesn't this. David has to do a lot better there. I know he's a young player, probably his stats uh, isn't that great, but at point blank range I do expect you to put the ball into the back of the net. And soon after the David miss in the 62nd minute, I bring on Hallam Hope. I know he hasn't been that great and I was thinking that I should probably move him on in January or at the end of the season if it doesn't turn up for us. However, we play out from the back and towards the 70th minute Nathan Thomas does get a goal for us and draws his level at 1-1. And surprisingly, Nathan Thomas, uh, it's his first goal of the season for us. I thought that he'd be probably bagging in uh, more than that. But he's been great down the right wing. He's been offering us a lot of with a lot of beautiful crosses and this time around he gets the equalizing goal and that's how the game would end at the end of the game and man of the match to Nathan Thomas for us and once again we drop to second thanks to that draw and inconsistent results MK Dons back to the top of the league once again and we are going to see Lincoln next and hope that we can get back into winning form once again to try and stay at the top of the league hoping that MK Dons do drop a stinker or two in the next couple of games and once again we feel our best starting 11 our preferred starting 11 uh, for the game against Lincoln Lincoln a team in the top 5 which I would think would be much harder to beat uh, compared to Macclesfield Town but we do take the lead in the 11th minute through Cullen and Cullen having missed the opportunity to lead the team into a 1-0 lead in the previous game makes no mistake from very very close range uh, in this game in the 11th minute and we go up 1-0 against Lincoln but Lincoln don't back down they attack right after the goal and they almost got an equalizer through that shot which on another day would probably have gone in uh, and there were some comical mistakes from yours truly uh, but thankfully Colin is there once again to save us and in the second half as well Colin steps up once again to save us from going into a 1-1 scoreline and Lincoln do attack attack and attack and and man oh man what would we do without our goalkeeper without our number 30 without Colin but as the game progressed we have Nathan Thomas 
missing from close range and I thought he probably could replicate his goal from the previous game against Macclesfield Town but this one goes well wide and I bring on Hallam Hope once again to see what he can do for us towards the end of the game and he does come clutch Cullen sets up Hallam Hope and to be fair to him it is an easy goal but based on his form this is a very big goal for him and it is a very very big goal for us as well as he is our striker as Cullen and Simpson are on loan here and we need Hallam Hope to score some goals get in good form to provide us with another option in the strikers role man of the match goes to Mark Cullen for scoring a goal and also setting up but a quick shout out to our goalkeeper Colin without him we would probably be down 3-1 but at the back of that result we still are in second place uh, thanks to the earlier draw against Macclesfield MK Dons maintain their winning form uh, which I hope that we could do going into the next game against Yeovil Town and this time around I have decided to feel our second string uh, give the fringe players and the youth players a chance to prove what they can do better than the first team and we all know that Hallam Hope is a part of the second string squad uh, playing as the left winger and very early on once again Hallam Hope oh my god and now you know why I decided to name the title of the episode the resilience and the resurgence of Hallam Hope we kept our hopes in him we never gave up on him and he has come through with his goal a very well taken first time effort into the far end of the post and into the back of the net 1-0 to Carlisle what a brilliant start for us what a brilliant start for the second team and soon after we could have gone 2-0 up if David kept his shot uh, lower but it stays at 1-0 and this time around through the right wing we have O'Hare going down and sending in an inviting cross for Simpson who doesn't miss this guy man I'm seriously thinking of signing up this guy for the next season. I know he does, probably doesn't have great potential, but his height could do us wonders in the front line, like this goal. A very well taken header, a very well put in cross from O'Hare. 2 0 up the blues. And to be fair to Yeovil Town, they don't sit back. They kept attacking and they almost got their goal in the 31st minute through Dobre. I do not know how he could not keep the ball down there. That could have easily been a goal back for Yeovil. And they lost that opportunity as this happens late on in the first half. At first thought, I thought it was a dodgy penalty. Um, but looking at the replay, yeah, yeah. It, it is definitely a penalty high boot to the knees with our player turning around and we have Hallam Hope stepping up for the penalty and he scores Hallam Hope once again off the post and in two goals for Hallam Hope three goals in the last two games and what an impact what a revival story for Hallam Hope in this episode i'm so happy for him man and i'm so happy for us as well because it's not easy uh having a hard start to the campaign and then picking yourself up along the way you have the media in new years you have the fans in new years saying that you're not good and all of that but we stuck with him and he has come through with the goals however in the second half we do lose our clean sheet as Yeovil Town somehow managed to break through the lines to send their forward in and Fisher finishes with a wonderful goal for Yeovil. Doesn't affect us as much because we are happy with Hallam Hope's man of the match performance for us and that win brings us back up 
to the top of the table. Ah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for Alan Holt, man. I hope his form continues. And that's where we'll end our episode today, guys. Do let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to talk about or you'd like to discuss about in future episodes. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys on the next one. Bye.